two organizations. One is Map Cabera in Nairobi and Ground Truth Initiative in Washington, D.C. Basically, I work with young people and technology in particularly very poor areas, particularly slums. So the main work that I do is in Nairobi with slum dwellers. They create maps, they create media, they create citizen journalism. Open data itself is where you know the information that people have about their world or that governments collect, for example, or that people collect, gets shared. So when you have open data, you can actually um, create solutions together. You can also have things be out in the open and transparent, which means that there's less of a chance for someone just uh, sort of hijacking the system, being being corrupt. You know, it kind of puts a check and balance on a lot of governance issues that come up too. We work in a sort of very, you could even say, hyper-local context, essentially because we're looking at just the boundaries of one community, but then you can also do every other community. But the idea is that people study in a way their own neighborhood. In a way it's crowdsourcing, this is kind of the popular term where, you know, we're looking at what do citizens already know and already can collect themselves. So that bypasses most of the bureaucracy. In fact, what it does is it demonstrates that a lot of this information is fairly easy to catch. I think it's just really doing um, your best and putting 100% into something. So I don't think it necessarily has to mean that you know you get perfection. It's not the same as perfection. It's basically like um, refining maybe a craft or something and then just putting out all that you have into it.